Welcome to Window Cleaning Resource. I'm Steve-O, the Window Cleaner. And today, we're gonna to talk about water fed pole at uh, residential jobs. And just some techniques. I'll kind of show you throughout this whole job some different areas of windows and how I go about cleaning them and the technique that I use. So let's get to it. Windowcleaner.com. I have the tucker over the top rinse bar here. I'm not using it today. If you see here, I'm not using a pump here. I have okay pressure there, but at that, it's just getting over the bristles and I know that if I go to 40 feet, the pressure will get less and that water will just go right into the bristles and won't go over. So I'm just gonna stay using pencil jets, which will require a little bit more rinsing, but overall it'll be okay. And I have the swivel on here, easy for angles. I do not have a bronze wool pad on here right now of this house we clean every six months and I just find I don't need it so it's an extra step you can take out so let's extend our pole starting at the top first fully extending our sections stop at that gold area right there and let's get going okay so starting out here with uh, windows like this I mean this is like the perfect situation for water fed pole so what I'm going to do first actually is when I have a set like this, I'm going to clean that top frame like so. Get that top frame really clean. Just go around there and give a little rinse to that area. Rinse off the dirt that's on that frame, right? And then before I scrub that window, I'm actually going to work these frames so that I get the dirt off there already while I'm cleaning that up one. Okay, and I'll kind of go through and just give a real good scrub. I don't do as much scrub as I do on the glass, but I do scrub the frames so that we're getting the dirt off of there. So we're scrubbing those frames. If you do this at the beginning of a large set like this, you can just go through without moving to a new set and just have everything clean so that when you rinse, you don't have any spots or runs showing because you have all the dirt rinsed off of the whole window set. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to rinse those frames off, get the dirt off those. And I'm gonna wait on the lower one until I clean the upper ones. So now I'll clean this half moon Half moon, just go around the top there, go around the bottom. I like, on bottom windows, I like to go side to side, on the bottom windows, side to side, and then a little up down motion, just back and forth a couple times. And then just work our middle there. So we'll rinse off that glass real nicely, covering all the areas, okay? So now that I've done this half moon, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do that window first, that window second, and then move to these two. Letting that top frame drip a little bit. So with this window set, go side to side. Box out my window. I've already rinsed the frames down, so I don't need to do that. And I'm just gonna work the middle. Basically just going back and forth about a good three to four times. Especially for windows that you know have been cleaned. I clean my bottom frame again, just like so, and then I just rinse down the window. You can see these windows are hydrophobic. The water is not really cascading, so we really want to make sure we're providing an optimal rinse. That damn little leaf keeps getting my way. And to provide that optimal rinse, I'm just going side to side all the way down the glass. Now this is the nice area. I get to use, you know, the swivel of that tucker swivel and still keep my brush flush on the glass. That's a super important part of water fed pole is to have your brush always flush with the glass. If you have it where you're scrubbing it like this and you're just getting those bristles, you're not providing the scrub. You need it flush and spreading to get the whole brush contact on the glass. You'll find sometimes you won't always just out of, you kind of get like comfortable in the job and you won't always box out the window. You 
kind of do some weird things and that's okay. As long as you're providing a really good scrub to the frames, to the glass, and rinsing really well, you really should have pretty good results. Or, I mean, a super important part of the whole entire thing is rinsing those frames and getting that dirt off. Because most likely when you see spotting or you see runs, it's from the frames not being cleaned well enough. And then for these bottom four windows here, we're gonna use the same pattern. We're gonna do the two outsides here, and then we're gonna do the two insides. We've already washed these frames and rinsed them, so we're just going after the glass. Now we're just gonna rinse that off. Now when I do the final rinse, I do try to stay away from the frames a little bit. Um, you'll have most of the dirt off of there, but you just don't want to try to introduce more dirt than needed, but you should be good from rinsing off um, the frames and cleaning those like we did at the beginning of this window set. So for windows, where I have a bunch of plants out in front and stuff, this is really nice. I'm gonna change that angle to a lesser degree and be able to get all those windows over top of that landscaping so I don't hit my feet on it and damage any landscaping. So you see there, that glass is hydrophilic. So we're getting a real nice cascade on the glass and it's not beating up like these windows will. Usually with cascading, the more thing you'll get is runs if you get anything that's bad. And the hydrophobic, you'll get little spots most of the time if anything goes bad. A very big tip for using a water fed pole is if you see that you're having low pressure, first thing to check would be your hose from the water spigot to the system. So I noticed I had low pressure so I come back I have this flex hose really great and I found two. So something like this can mess up your whole pressure just a little bit like that. That's it. Okay so let's talk about high windows. All the same rules apply. So nothing changes. We want to try to do the same thing. So what we're going to do, I just have enough tubing. I always run into this right here. Yeah. So up here, right, again, clean our frames. Clean that bottom frame. Okay. Give it a good rinse. Okay, and then we're just gonna scrub it like we would scrub any other window, box it out, and then work the middle. The thing that gets hard at this height is rinsing. Um, this is a ultra high modulus pole, the zero pro gold ultimate, and this one's super easy just to take off the glass. But if you're dealing with the more basic carbon fiber, or a fiberglass pole, or an aluminum water fed pole. Uh, this is gonna be just a little bit harder. But it's, to me, unless you have a pump running that over the top rinse bar, or the over top rinse bar is working really well, I think it's huge that you really need to take the brush off and rinse. So once again, we'll do the same thing here as we've done to every other thing, every other window here. We'll clean these frames really well. Rinse off the frames. Some houses, if you do them really frequent, you do not have to rinse the frames. I will make a video of one of the houses I do, but I've done a lot of videos there, of a, a maintenance cleaning I do every month. And I mean, I probably do a hundred windows in less than 45 minutes. And they're all pretty big, large windows. And it's, and it's really easy. I don't have to clean any of the frames and everything comes out perfect. 
when you have a home like this you haven't done in a while you need to you need to thoroughly wash the frames so here's the nice thing i don't need to be right under in this tree i can just use the swivel still have the brush flush clean my frames and soft my frame It's off that middle frame there. Okay, and I can scrub. Sometimes if it's hard to box out the window when you're this high, doing this is okay. The boxing out is not like a dire need, but it's good for basic guys who are just starting water for their pool to get a good rhythm down and know what they're doing. You kind of just go through the steps rather than just willy-nilly it. I know I've really talked about the same things many, many times in this video as far as cleaning frames, all that good stuff. But repetition is your only way to just making it muscle memory. Repeat the right steps over and over again on every job and it will become nothing but just be able to fly through jobs, you'll know exactly what to do. So most of the windows are gonna take a while to dry off. Today's about 50 degrees. So it's possible by the time I leave this home, the windows will not be dry. Explain to your customer that. I have had in the past where I haven't explained and they've called and said, what's going on here? So just always take the extra time. If the customer is not home, just leave a, maybe leave a note or something like that. But this will take a little bit to dry, especially in a day where it's 50 degrees. If you do them in the sun on a warm day, it's gonna dry super, super quick. But notice that it's gonna take a while to dry. Um, Really, that's it as far as uh, how to clean a home with a water-fed pole. I will do more narrow videos as far as how to clean a double hung with a water-fed pole, how to clean French windows with a water-fed pole. Dive more into just the actual windows because this house just has, you know, these style of frames. So I hope this has helped you in tips and techniques of how to clean a home with a water-fed pole. And we'll be back with you soon.